What's going on everybody? Jemin here back again with a huge omnibus haul and we got to give a big thanks to Marvel Comics for sending us some advanced copies of some of these books like Wolverine, Captain America, and Fantastic Four Volume 2. But Marvel, what are those? What is going on with the spines on Fantastic Four and Captain America? Like I said in my Defenders Omnibus overview, I feel like it's a mistake. It looks like the graphics for like a Marvel Select or a different type of format and I can kind of see, like, if you're going to have that type of style for a newer book. But, man, Captain America Volume 3, which already has Volumes 1 and 2 that match. The reprinting or the new printing of Fantastic Four Volume 2. It's not a good look. It's something that DC would do. Got to be a mistake. But we really appreciate you sending these advanced copies so that we could take a look at them. And huge, huge shout-out to OrganicPriceBooks.com. JP has been hooking us up with the DC books or the books that we're not getting from Marvel. Make sure to check him out. He's quickly become a preferred choice for collectors who purchase Omnibus and Collected Editions. Use the code GEMMINT to save $2 off your first order and check out OrganicPriceBooks.com. With that being said, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're doing a giveaway for our next subscriber milestone of 150 50k and we're giving away a deja thoris premium format statue by sideshow all you got to do is be subscribed leave a like and comment on this video and stick around to the end i'll give you more specifics on how the giveaway is going to go down so first things we'll do it we'll take a look at these warped spines marvel omnibus uh captain america volume 3 continuing from the silver age to the bronze age let's take a look at them all right, guys, so this is the regular cover by Iban Coelho. The DM variant is Captain America 154, which has a great cover with the Avengers. Now, this book is scheduled to be released on July 28th, has 976 pages with a $125 cover price. And it collects Captain America 149 through 192, picking up where Volume 2 left off. The hardcover has the Captain America Omnibus logo on the front. The side of the spine is the same as the dust jacket, and the back has Captain America's shield. Let's start flipping through it. All right, as we flip through, we see the beginning splash page. Most of this omnibus is written by Steve Englehart and drawn by Sal Buscema, although you do have Jerry Conway as writer for the beginning of the omnibus. Great cover page here. Here we have all the credits, everybody involved, the creative teams, the table of contents, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into a forward by Steve Englehart. When Englehart took over, he took Cap more into the real world. This is in the 70s. They're citing real world events like Watergate. You end up having the return of Peggy Carter, who gets involved with the relationship between Cap and Sharon Carter. And of course, the team up with his partner, Falcon. Of course, there's a ton of extras in the back. Here we have an article by Roger Stern about Captain America. And then you have original pages in the back as well. Great looking artwork, and of course the dust jacket cover here. All right, next up is the new printing for Fantastic Four, Volume 2, Silver Age Goodness, Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, and this collects, as the cover suggests, Behold Galactus, the coming of Galactus. I wonder why Marvel's reprinting Fantastic Four Omnibus. Could it be that they're coming in the MCU very, very soon? I think so. Let's take a look at it, guys. All right, guys, this is also coming out July 28th. This is the regular cover. This is the DM variant by Landron, which is an amazing reinterpretation of this cover. Same spine. And, of course, we have the back contents of the book. So this book has 832 pages, a $100 cover price, and it collects Fantastic Four issues 31 through 60 with annual two and four. We have some graphics on the front, the Fantastic Four logo, the same spine as the dust jacket, and the four logo on the back as well all right let's flip this thing open here so here we have uh the team on the front here this is by stanley and jack kirby classic material the interior credits then we have the table of contents i like that image from fantastic 445 on the bottom the first in humans a forward by stan lee and then we're jumping into it Probably one of the most important Marvel omnibus of all time. So many first appearances in this book. So many universe building moments in here that started the birth of the Marvel Cosmic Universe. We're going to flip through here and we'll look for some key moments. But again, you see big artwork, Jack Kirby goodness. So many awesome panels. Here's FF46, the first appearance of Black Bolt. Uh, the prior issue was the first appearance of the Inhumans. Then here's Fantastic 448, which is the first appearance of Silver Surfer, first cameo of Galactus. Let's see if we can get that first Silver Surfer panel. Yeah, that was it right there. So the cameo of Galactus at the end, he's wearing red, which is kind of funny. It wouldn't be until the following issue in his first full appearance where he gets the iconic purple look. Love the splash page, love the cover, and look at Galactus there.
Great stuff here. So besides Inhumans, besides Surfer and Galactus, this omnibus also debuts the first appearance of the Black Panther in issue 52, which is crazy. So let's go ahead and take a look at Black Panther's first panels. There he goes, right there on the splash page. He has that collar. He has the cape. Uh, very cool, like I said, important stuff here in this omnibus. Classic material. The back has some interior pages. You have some house ads. You have reprint cover art. And then, of course, that DM cover on the back as well. All right, next up is a book that is already out. This was uh, from Organic Price Books. It is The Savage Sword of Conan, Volume 5. And this has got to be the thinnest Conan omnibus so far. I wonder if we're nearing the end of this magazine format uh, omnibus. Let's go ahead and flip through some Conan goodness. So this is the regular cover here by Mamad Asar, and the variant cover is by David Mattingly, which is the original cover for issue 62. This book has 768 pages and contains Savage Sword of Conan, issues 61 through 72. The actual hardcover has the same graphics that you see on all the other Conan books, uniform spines, same logo with the blood splatter on the back, so very consistent with these Conan books. You got the brown interior pages, incredible artwork on the splash page here. Here we have uh, some more credits and more credits, <laughs> and then the table of contents followed. So like I said, this is the magazine format comic that came out back in the day, so it's black and white for the most part. But what I really like about this is you have some Joe Jusco covers. Now, most of you guys who know me know that Joe Jusco's art is what got me into comics, specifically the 1992 Marvel Masterpieces. I love them so much that I hunted down Joe Jusco's other work, and he had an entire Conan trading card set that came out before the Marvel Masterpieces. So I, as a kid, I went back and hunted those down, even though I wasn't really a fan of Conan, just to have his artwork in those trading cards. And they were amazing too, man. You had a lot of like scantily clad women, a lot of Conan fighting beasts and such. So those cards always resonated with me because I was such a fan of Jusco. But anyway, speaking <laughs> too much of Jusco and not enough about the contents of the book, uh, like you can see, you have those uh, covers that show the colored artwork, the black and white interior. The artwork, the line work is amazing though. It looks really, really good. Uh, I'm a fan of black and white stuff. I like manga. I like black and white comics. You really see the pencil work. The detail is really good. Uh, I just never really got hooked on the story of Conan, but I do have the full library if I ever want to jump into it. But uh, there you guys go. Savage Sword of Conan, Volume 5, cranking out these Conan Omnis. All right, guys, the lone DC book. And what's funny is the Conan book felt kind of slim. This is definitely the thickest of the Justice League Bronze Age omnibus. This is volume three. I've started to get rid of some of the Silver Age, Golden Age, Bronze Age DC Omnis that I just didn't really love. But I'm sticking with the Justice League stuff. So let's take a look at it. I told you this was a big boy, 1,192 pages, $125 cover price. Here is the cover of the dust jacket. Then we have the spine and the contents. It collects Justice League of America 147 through 182, Super Team Family 11 through 14, DC Special 27, DC Special Series 6, Secret Society of Supervillains 15, DC Comics Presents 17, and Pages from Amazing World of DC Comics 14. If you guys seen one of these DC hardcovers, you've seen them all. They're all black. They have the embossed letters and fonts on the front and on the spine, and that's it. They keep it the same, which is uniform, I guess is nice. The black uh, interior page. Here we have our cover page. I love Bronze Age artwork. Here's some of the credits, uh, more credits, and of course, we have the table of contents. So I really do enjoy Bronze Age artwork. I have not read Bronze Age Justice League stuff, but it looks really good. You can see the panels here with the Flash running around. Here we have Hawkman, Green Lantern, a lot of these classic legacy characters. This is the second half of the 70s Justice League stuff. It has Justice Society of America, Legion of Superheroes. They bring back older characters like Jonah Hex and the Viking Prince, uh, plus some more. So another Bronze Age Justice League to add to the collection. Uh, and more Steve Englehart goodness. We just mentioned him earlier in this video, uh, along with Jerry Conway. All right, next up we have Star Wars The Old Republic, Marvel reprinting the Dark Horse Star Wars comics from when they had the license, similar to Conan. They got the license back, and they're printing all of that back material, which is really cool if you weren't able to collect it in those other formats. So let's go ahead and take a look at Star Wars. 
So this cover is the DM variant by Dustin Weaver. The regular cover here is by Brian Shing. This book has 1,344 pages, a $125 cover price, and collects Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic issues 1 through 50 with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic War 1 through 5, Knights of the Old Republic Handbook, and material from Knights of the Old Republic slash Rebellion issue 0. You have beautiful artwork on this hardcover, this wraparound image. That looks great. I like when they do that. It gives you a little bit extra to the book. Black interior pages. Here's our cover page. Here's our credits. Nice image on the left here. And the table of contents. Uh, as well as a little uh, prelude to what's happening here. So like I said, this was Star Wars material that was originally printed under Dark Horse, which was originally canon and is no longer canon. It follows a Jedi named Zane Carrick, and this is all about him being framed for a murder, and he goes on the run with some unlikely allies. So you have Marn, Hierogriff, Camper, and jor -El. It takes place a long time ago, like nearly 4,000 years before anyone ever heard of Luke Skywalker. All right, guys, last up, my favorite book of the haul, one of my most anticipated omnibus for 2021, Wolverine Volume 2. What I love about this is that when I got back into comics and I started picking up single issues, I started to look into back issues, and this is before uh, omnibus or collected editions, uh, and I was like, you know what? I would love to put the Wolverine run together, the entire run, issues 1 through 180-something or whatever it was. Uh, so this is really cool to kind of collect that run the volume one had a lot of other stuff prior to his ongoing series like his first appearance first mini series team up mini series and such uh, but this one continues with that ongoing as patch so let's go ahead and take a look at wolverine volume two so i'm not sure why all the delays on this book is scheduled to be released now august 4th and it's the book with three covers the one i have here is the john byrne cover there's also a Jim Lee cover, which was used for uh, video games back in the day, as well as a Barry Windsor Smith cover, which I really love, but that really seems to go more with Volume 1 rather than Volume 2, so I'm happy with the John Byrne cover. This book has 1,248 pages and a cover price of $125. It collects Wolverine 11 through 30 from his 1988 first ongoing series. Also collects Havoc and Wolverine Meltdown 1 through 4, Wolverine slash Nick Fury, The Scorpio Connection, Wolverine The Jungle Adventure, Wolverine Bloodlust, and material from Marvel Comics presents 38 through 71, just the Wolverine stories. What's interesting is the hardcover is also the John Byrne image. I wonder if they're all the same or if the different hardcovers match the dust jackets. You got the spine there, and then you have this Wolverine pinup on the back. Amazing. Now, the only thing here, it looks like this was published from the same company or the same place that the Volume 1 was published with that square-bound look. Now, I do have some nice binding up top, but on the bottom, I'm noticing that I have the pages lifting up from the ribbon a little bit so we're gonna have to either fix that or, or deal with it but the pages are still glued together so eh, what are you gonna do beggars can't be choosers right uh black interior cover page awesome splash page so not only is this like the patch run continuation but a lot of those wolverine miniseries like i mentioned with a lot of unique artwork here's all the credits the table of contents and then jumping into it. So here's Meltdown with Havoc. You're going to notice right away. It's almost got like a Bill Sienkiewicz type art style to it. Although he's not one of the artists on this run. But flipping through this, it really reminded me of like the Frank Miller Electra run. So you have this painted style artwork, which is nice. You have a lot of different variety in this omnibus. Then on the Scorpio Connection, you have another unique type of almost painted style artwork here. So uh, again, a lot of variety here couple of different mini series and then we're jumping into the ongoing with issue 11 and this is more of what you would expect from this omnibus the stuff that you see on the covers the stuff that you see posters of continuing his run as patch in madripoor but that's not it it doesn't just end there here's some mignola action and then we get into the marvel comics presents stuff so it says material from because those had two stories in each so it's just all the wolverine stuff uh, and that's continuing on from the first volume as well. So awesome omnibus. This is the kind of stuff that I want to see printed. Give me the full runs in continuity with the mini series sprinkled in. I'm loving it. Getting into the Bloodlust graphic novel, you can see this also has like a painted style to it. So you got a lot of bang for your buck here. You got posters and covers on the back, pinups and such. Marvel Universe Series 1 trading cards. The Wolverine Saga reprint covers. 
trade paperback covers and such. Some interior page artwork. Ghost Rider looks awesome. And Logan at the end. All right, guys, that's the haul. Let me know what your favorite book was in the comments below. Let me know if any of these are on your radar, if you've already picked them up, or some of the pre-releases you're looking to get. And let me know what you think about these spines, man. What's going on with those spines on those Marvel Omnibus? That's what's going to enter you into the giveaway. Like I said, you got to be subscribed, leave a like, and comment on this video. Once we hit the milestone, we'll pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner on the following live stream. So you're going to want to comment on as many videos as possible and uh, appreciate you guys watching don't go anywhere though check out my other omnibus hauls and actually there's going to be a part two to this haul because there were so many books it would have been too much for one video so make sure to stay tuned for that all right y'all stay minty fresh peace